Good morning, everyone. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for being back to another video of Music with Nick. Today, we got a marathon by Matt. I'm super excited uh, we're doing this. And uh, I wanted to thank him for sponsoring this video and helping out the channel. And, uh, you know, just by providing such great music, always different, challenging. You know, I love it. And uh, thank you so much, Matt. Also, everybody, thank you for being here you know, and supporting, you know, uh, Matt and myself and Alexia. And um, thank you. So, um, uh, yeah, it's a little cold uh, today, so I'm wearing this hoodie, you know. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, let's get to the, the email that Matt provided me with. And, uh, oh, I'm not even, let me, let me put on the headphones. I'm like, just like that. Oh, that's better. Yeah, now I can hear myself. So, um, let's see what Matt has uh, for us today. And uh, I already have the songs here, but I do want to read his email. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, if I could just find it now. <laughs> Usually there, it's because sometimes, you know, I get an email and then I get like, 10 other emails from other stuff regarding the channel and it just floods, you know. So, but here it looks like we got it. Okay. All right. Here it is. So, um, so this is called, um, it is called. Um, that's the problem because I already had the name. Okay, so I'm just going to read you the names and then I'm going to get into other stuff. Um, so we're going to do first, the artist is F Froyer, I think, um, from the United Kingdom. Dude to dude to dude. Um, uh, from 1983, it says a song about feeling trapped and unable to escape failure with eerie music and haunting vocals. And that's what I like about, you know, Matt's style, because it's like not really always easy, you know, to listen to this music, you know. So that's what I like about it. And um, also here, he added something else in it and let in an email afterwards. Um, this uh, list of songs progresses from innocence to acceptance of failure, transitioning from themes of feeling trapped and naive to resilience, frustration, and un uh, uh, ultimately introspective acceptance and understanding of failure's lessons. Each so song represents a different stage of emotional emotional evolution reflecting the complex journey towards embracing failure as part of life's experience and i think it's a very you know um good lesson because yes we, we all gonna have you know some kind of failures and it's actually titled fabulous failure the marathon that's what i wanted to see um you know we all go through these things in life and then sometimes we do fail and then if we already know how to accept it it's a lot easier to stand back up and, you know, keep trying. And the key here, obviously, is not to give up, you know. Like, I've had so many different things happening, and there was some, uh, I've had so many obstacles in my life. Um, and just me and Alexia, by, like, saying, hey, we're going to leave, you know, first we left the city, we, we met, and that was a new challenge, and then to say we're going to leave the country. You know, that was not easy, you know. And then to be where we are, that was all hard work and strong will. Even though we had, you know, our failures and stuff. But hey, you always have to stand up and keep trying, you know. So, again, thank you so much, Matt, for this. This is going to be very interesting. So, let's start it up with Doot Doot by Fro uh, Froyer. And this is from the album as well, self-titled. So, I have no idea what we're getting into but i mean he gave us a little you know a little clue here um uh, eerie music and haunting vocals let's see let's uh let's check it out here we go
Again, thank you so much for being here. Let's go. So this was um, featuring Carl Hyde. I don't know if you know him, um, uh, but I looked him up here. And this was just, I love the, uh, I love this kind of, um, you know, effect on the guitar. Even though he was, I think he was only playing like fifths, you know, like power chords, you call them as well. And, uh, you know, that kind of deal. And then beautiful atmospheres it was not really that ha haunting it was beautifully haunting i guess you know it was just and then those drums i just love that kind of stuff you know and i was like wow this reminds me a lot of tears for fears and um i guess it's just that style of synth you know 
and the singing, you know, the voice of Carl Hyde here, um, really cool, from the United Kingdom. And um, yeah, I'm looking at his stuff, really cool, really, really interesting. Um, and uh, there is a sixth song here that we're going to throw in, a very short. Um, uh, so let me just see, because on the list... Um, like Matt didn't put it on the list. Um, I think it's called. Wait a minute. I think it's th the next one here. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, because here are. F so we did. So it's actually. Because I said, like, dude, dude, and it's like, dude, dude. <laughs> so the next one is um, Stand or Fall by The Fix. But here it says Saved by Zero. That's kind of weird. Um, but, well, it doesn't matter. The one, uh, the, the one song, the hate song we're going to do, and then Give Me the Cure, Parkeet. Okay, this is the one that we're going to do. Crazy Rhythms by The Feeling, The Feelies. That one is the one that we're going to do um, the extra song. Um, okay, so this one, the next one here is called um, uh, The Fix, The Band, Saved by Zero. I hope this is the one that he wanted, Matt, because he put Stand or Fall. Let me see if... Um, if that one is available, because then I can correct it. Because I think he sent me the you send me the the song list, but oh, there is stand or fall. I think you know. I then I, I'm just gonna do that one because I think that's since the one is the one that you wrote in the email. Now I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> It doesn't matter, you know. We can always do the other ones um, later. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to do Stand or Fall, just like it comes in the email. And uh, by the fix, from then and now. This is from the UK as well, 1982. And it says, an uplifting song about bouncing back from failure with catchy music and inspiring lyrics. So, let's see if this is the one um, that you were talking about here. Okay? So, let's let's... Let's click on it. That face.
cool they messed up on the lyrics here on spotify it was totally in a different um i don't know why they do that sometimes you know but it says these lyrics aren't synced to the song yet it literally says on spotify so i was like i was trying to keep up but um but really cool i love the music the bass you know the chord progressions the lyrics here you know and then remember when he said it's the Euro theater. Remember, I don't know if that's kind of like when they would say it in the war, you know, like, oh, um, we're moving to, you know, like the Euro theater um, or like J the, J the theater in Japan, you know, the situation like the war. Um, I think that's the way they would do it, you know. Um, yeah. Well, I guess, you know, <laughs> I, I might be wrong, super wrong, but hey, it's all good. So the next one, so this, the next one, um, he was like, you know, you can skip it. And I was like, it's okay. It's all good. You know, it's just going to be a couple of minutes. And I really love making these, you know, especially, you know, people that support us, um, on the channel, like, I, I, I can, uh, there's no problem at all. So this one is called, this is the, the band, The F Feelies. Sorry, The Feelies, Crazy Rhythms is the album. Oh, sorry, 2009. And um, the song is also called The Crazy Rhythms. So here we go. So far, so good. Thank you so much. So this one doesn't have a description. I'll just, you know, let's see what's in there. Let's go.
so amazing how like you know how we like us humans react to sound you know and then because the bass is literally one note but it's so amazing and it sounds great with the drums and and then of course the little harmonies and melodies the guitar is doing it's so effective yesterday i was we were, we went to a concert actually there were three concerts like it was one three bands like alexia and i and i was like we we're listening to something that i reacted to by barbara streisand and and i just lost it in that reaction because it was it reminded me so much of my mom because I used to see that LP in our house. Like it was like, it was always facing like the ones that like the way I have it here. Like it was not like, like this was like, I could see the cover and I was always look at them, you know, the guy from um, the Bee Gees and Barbara Streisand and I was, oh, and I would, I think I would even like look inside and see them. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they're a nice couple, you know, <laughs> I didn't know they were just collaborating, you know, like a kid, you know, immediately thinks like, oh, they must be married. And <laughs> I don't know. But well, you know, so I, I reacted to that and I just lost it yesterday when I heard the music because it was like, wow, this is the music my mom used to listen to, you know. So I'm now living this, you know. But um, so after that, I was I put the song again in the car and I was like, isn't that crazy? Like how we react to music and isn't that wonderful how we humans like get together and then we invented how to capture music, you know, like how to record it. And then we come up with these amazing things. And uh, that's what I find so fascinating about music, you know, like, um, and even something as, as simple as this is so effective. And I don't call it simple, like simple doesn't mean bad or not good enough. You know, some sometimes the simplest things are like, what affects us like the most you know sometimes you can listen to like i don't know something as complex as like beethoven and maybe people are not moved but oh, although most people will be moved by beethoven but something just very very complex and we will just not understand it. it's just going to be like okay well i guess that happened and then something like this which is just one bass note is going to be like you know like people are going to be head banging and I just love music, you know, that it can, something as simple as this can just put you in a tif totally different state of being, you know, like can make you happy. Okay. Well, music can make you sad. It's just so wonderful. Um, okay. Let's keep going. This is a great song. It's a lot of fun. Let's keep going with the fe feelies. <laughs> Awesome, 1980, and this album, if you look it up on the internet, um, it's 100% like liked. 
you know, when you look up something and usually it says like, oh, this uh, album is liked by 85%, you know, and you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Google users. This one has 100% likes. I like that. You know, I like to see. And this is um, the genre was uh, post-punk, jangle pop, event, uh, event punk, pop, new wave. Really cool. So it was worth it. You see, it was worth to listen to it. Um, um, I love the man. Really cool. Also, I mean, just the lyrics, you know, and the whole feel to it. And they're on tour. Can you believe it? Um, see? Oh, only in their, like, in their area. They're from New Jersey, so they're in New York. Cool. But still, man, you know, it would be kind of cool to see them in April. All right, cool. Okay, so the next one, the description here. Um, this is called Hate Song. This is by F Fudge Tunnel. Fuge? F F I think it's Fudge. Fudge Tunnel from the UK as well, 1991. And it says, A loud and intense song expressing frustration and anger towards failure. Featuring heavy guitars and screaming vocals. All right, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down for heavy guitars and screaming vocals. Um, by the way, check out the new Judas Priest album, um, if you want screaming vocals and heavy guitars, but in a beautifully masterful way. Uh, I can't believe that, you know, Rob Halford is 71 years old and he still delivers it, but so well. I can't believe it. Can't believe he's singing that way. That's the way we saw him in Indio, California. He's just the metal god, literally. Like, check out the new album. It's fantastic can't believe that a band from the 70s is releasing an album so freaking powerful so heavy and wonderful if you like any kind of rock music or heavy music if you like sabbath or deep purple or iron maiden or check them out okay so this was my judas priest commercial i'm just kidding <laughs> all right so the hate song here we go
love this and the, the, the album is called Eight Songs in E Minor. I love it because I mean E minor is the key of like you know like Metallica most of their songs are in E minor because minor is like a minor chord sounds just like sad and um I don't know it just sounds sad you know and if you play an E chord a major chord it sounds happy Put a minor chord and then E is just a key that, you know, a lot of metal bands play in um, because it's like the E string, the open, the open, um, the sixth, the, the the thickest string on a guitar is an E string. So it's like, gin, 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 gin. and when I, I mean, the distortion sounds like literally like right the lightning, you know, da, 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 um, I really like it. I remember when I first got a guitar and, uh, and I hooked it up the first time and I had no idea of no, not, no knowledge of anything guitar wise. So I bought a get like my mom got my, m me a guitar and an amp and a cable and I hooked it up and I expect it to come for, 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 for this kind of sound to come out. And it's like, bling. And I'm like, what is this? I thought this was an electric guitar. So I, by, by default, I thought it sounded like that. You know, with distortion. And then we had to get a pedal. And then I was like, oh, God, the happiest kid alive. When I could do like, gin, 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 you know. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, let's keep going. I'm, I'm loving it, you know. Really raw and heavy. And and I love the title. Hate songs in E minor. I love it. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> This reminds me so much like when I uh, like I used to hang out with my high school friends, you know, and um, we would w and we barely got literally like guitars. We didn't even know how to tune them. You know, we would just like like I don't know how it became like came together, but I think like my friend Alex, he got a bass, you know, and then he just stuck to the bass and then he bought a drum kit um, and then someone just like knew how to play the drums randomly or maybe learned, you know, and I was on the guitar and and we had a mic and we would just make up crazy music. And it sounded pretty much like this. It was just jams of 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you know, we'd, we, we, we record them with this tape player 
and then listen to them. And sometimes there was some stuff on there. We were like, wow, we wrote this, you know, <laughs> so cool. Um, yeah, I still want to get in touch with uh, my, my friend Alex, but he's so hard to get a hold of. And, um, but yeah, and he was always wanted to play with me because he was like, you always come up with this great stuff. Like, you're like the writer of the band, you know? Like, I was the writer. Um, so, yeah. And I just had this really... I It was really easy for me to just come up with music or I would listen to something, anything, and I could just play it immediately, you know? Like, um, like crazy stuff. Like, I, I remember I was practicing on my guitar and, um, and then one day, like, this truck drove by you know in mexico when they sell something they always have like music and they had like lambada like i mean that was was playing and i was like and i'm like how you know it was just so easy to pick up music so i guess that's why you know people like to play with me because i was always coming up with crazy like random ideas you know but yeah so okay next one is by bugazi give me the cure 13 songs is the album from nine from 89 and this um it says from the u.s a powerful song criticizing society's failures and demanding change with energetic music and passionate lyrics so we just saw a documentary today morning for breakfast. I don't know why, but it was on. I do recommend it. It's just like kind of like, like a wow, you know. It's called the Antisocial Network, um, and you can and basically it leads up like from being, um, I don't know if you know those channels like that pretty much only do memes and stuff and how that. Um, pretty much like it tells you like the story of like these hackers and it's pretty much about anonymous and uh, how that all ended in pretty much like a chaos but just watch it if you like you know politically um charged documentaries it's a, i think it's pretty it's a it's worth a watch um because of the song you know um i don't have any kind of like affiliation to you know politics i so you know i can't even vote unfortunately i i'm not a u.s citizen so uh i can still vote in germany yeah okay so um it says um give me the cure here we go
so yeah when i read the lyrics like this it um i don't know this is like something i guess that is just occurring occurring to me but i'm sure to hundreds and millions of other people of course but i sometimes i ask alexia like you do you have like different do you have like fears of stuff like because i when i was like a teenager in my 20s you know and uh like i was literally fearless like i would do the craziest stuff and the most dangerous stuff and i just thought i was like made out of metal and i think a lot of people think that you know when we're kids especially when we're kids but sometimes it goes into like also when we're like in our 20s you know and then we get older and then suddenly you're like scared you know of like when he was saying like i've never like when he was saying i've never had a thought of dying and then you kind of like and then there's people around you that pass away and then you feel your mortality some like way way i never thought about stuff like that you know and and now i'm like i have all these little fears you know that i didn't have before you know, and there's no shame. I'm. I don't feel a shame in admitting this. Like it's just like, like I used to jump off the roof of my house. You know, <laughs> and uh, and now I would. I could never think of doing that. You know, I would be like, what if I break my leg? And back in the day, I didn't care. You know, like I broke pretty much my both of my wrists and um. And it was just like hilarious at the time, you know, like, oh, my God, look, it's broken, you know, like, and today it's like, I would be terrified if that would happen. So I guess as you get older, maybe you get just smarter, wiser, and uh, you don't want your body to like <laughs> die. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but um, I think it, it was just a nice time to be fearless, you know, and um, I think as you get older, you get more like, oh, what, 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 what was this? Oh God, like this pain, like what was this pain? You know, you feel like a sharp pain in your chest or in your back or somewhere. And you're just like, I don't know. And when I was a like a, a kid or a teenager or older, I was like, whatever, you know, it's just, it's just weird. Uh, but I'm sure I'm, I'm literally not, uh, I'm like, I'm sure like everybody feels this. Or there's like really hardcore people. Who never go through this they're just like made out their tanks their entire life i've seen people like that too okay so this is the last one this is uh called um i don't know if i can pronounce any of this so the band is called Farakat, and the song is called parakeet this is from their ontology from 1997 to 1998 oh is this in german yeah, there's one song called Um die Ecke, which means around the corner. Uh, but we're doing the first one, Parakeet, the opener. And then I did read here that is an, it's an instrumental. It says here, uh, United States 2000, an instrumental track that explores the theme of failure through intricate guitar melodies and dynamic rhythms. I'm down. All right, here we go. <laughs>
these little licks, you know, palm muting and um, that's like literally the stuff we would come up with, like do 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 you know, stuff like just random. I love it, and um, yeah, I miss the those times when you don't know anything about music. I think that's when you're super creative because you don't put yourself any uh there's no limitations or no rules you know it doesn't have to be like when you don't really know about music or theory that's when you write the craziest stuff because in like honestly there are no you know limits and uh but sometimes with theory yes you can open up a lot of stuff that's amazing but also there's a lot of stuff like, oh, I can't really do this because it doesn't really work. And that kind of like halts you in a, in a way. Like I've, I've just felt that uh, when I look at the way I used to approach the guitar and then the way I approach it now. This was wonderful. Thank you so much, Matt. We have to get together and write our magnum opus. Uh, you know, it could be like 20, 20 tracks of just like, you know, jamming. Um, but yeah, you let me know, buddy, uh, honestly, um, you know, I'm down, <laughs> it would be totally cool, but yeah, I have so much music. I just checked the other day, um, and I'm going to start to release more shorts and stuff of me playing solos and just rhythms and stuff, because I have like 60 videos that are like each, maybe 40 minutes of me just like noodling on the guitar. And there's, I just watched one and I was like, my God, there's so much good stuff here. And I just, I never uploaded it because maybe one mistake, you know, like, so that's, uh, I'm just going to try and like this, you know, you know, go through them and pick out the best start parts and just post them as a, as a short, you know, like I did with the Steely Dan solo. That was like a first take, you know, um, and I I just learned it literally. Like I, I I listened to the song and I was like, okay, I love the solo. And then a couple of hours later, and uh, I knew it pretty well. And then I recorded it. And then it's not even that perfect, you know. There's a lot of timing uh, that that is wrong. And but I guess that's the only one that I was like, okay, I'm gonna, just gonna post it like this, you know. But again, thank you so much, Matt, for this wonderful marathon. Really great music. And uh, I love all the descriptions and I loved, you know, a lot of stuff here is really, really good. You know, I, I loved and ev even the track that you were like, hey, if you want to do it, do it. You know, um, I'm happy I did it. The crazy rhythms. Uh, doot doot um, was great. A stand or fall. The hate song. Pff, very Metallica. And then the the last two. Uh, they were very short, but very effective. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, everyone. Please, um, as you know, these marathons are not monetized. You know, YouTube doesn't recommend them to anyone. So please, if you can like them, leave as much as leave as much uh, comments as you can on them to bump them up. You know, maybe subscribe to the channel if you knew if you like this kind of music or interaction with the music, the reaction videos and, you know, and uh, please, it would it does help out. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matt, for sponsoring this. I really appreciate it. I wish you all the best. Stay safe and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.